Hi, welcome to Metro Vancouver Close Up for June 2017. I'm Dachmar Timmer. Most electric vehicle charging takes place at home, and that can be a challenge in apartments, which are about half of all housing choices in the region. It is getting easier though with a new information source, a sporty rental option, and guidelines to increase charging access in North Vancouver. Charging stations are being installed for this new EV rental business. It's part of the growing popularity of electric vehicles in Metro Vancouver. It's quickly grown over the years exponentially and uh, we see it becoming a large part of our business. This is a good example of some of the load management technology. If he plugs in two vehicles, then it actually splits that charge. No gas required, just plug it in, you feel g-force and it's uh, just amazing. Perhaps less flashy, but functional, is the direction of several Metro Vancouver municipalities to improve access to charging for future condo and apartment residents. We looked at where our greenhouse gases are being produced. We found that about 50% of the GHGs are from transportation. We've amended our sustainable development guidelines to encourage developers to have access to level two charging for 20% of the residential parking stalls in any given residential building. So there's enough electrical supply, there's the circuitry and everything needed so that you can install a charger in the future. They are also encouraging developers to size electrical rooms large enough to accommodate additional future electric panels, enough to service all parking stalls. Often the ability to retrofit a building is limited by the space in the actual electrical room. Another improvement on the EV landscape is this resource for EV users, strata councils and property managers. We talk a bit about uh, the technology itself, about the charging technology, about what the different levels are, the different power options. I think a lot of stratas are approached by members who live in those buildings asking for access to charging. Some buildings charge a flat rate. Uh, other buildings put in revenue grade meters where they can actually read exactly what is used. We go into all sorts of details about when to bring certain resolutions to annual agenda meeting for voting. We walk through both the technical and some of the uh, process and legal. People might not be familiar with it. What we're hearing from developers is that it's something that they're quite interested in and they see that it's potentially meeting a market demand. If we want to reach our greenhouse gas targets by about 2030, 50% of sales of new vehicles need to be electric, plug-in ready. The municipalities share their information readily and we really appreciate that. The City of Vancouver has shown leadership in Richmond. Here on the North Shore, both the City and the District are having this requirement to have electrical vehicle charging stations in multifamily buildings. So we're all working this together. 